many of us have gotten used to the dark mode option that's available in most software these days. Whether you're using a browser to look at Facebook or YouTube, or you're doing some editing on photos or videos, creating documents in Word, and even the Windows interface itself and the default calculator have dark modes built into them now. So you may find it a bit jarring when you first launch into Mastercam. Now luckily, there's ways we can work around this in Mastercam. So what I'm going to do here is go through a couple steps that can get your Mastercam interface a little more like a dark mode. The first thing we're going to look at is the actual graphics area. So for the graphics area, to change the color of that, we're going to go to our file and we're going to go to configuration. And before we go ahead and change our colors, what I'm going to do is make a separate configuration. So that way it makes it easy to transition from this dark mode back to our original setup. So first thing I'm going to do is click on the disk icon at the bottom and I'm going to give this a name just simply darkmode.config and save. And now I can customize this particular configuration. So background color, what I'm going to do here is something dark like uh, black. And for the gradient end, I'll do again something dark like this dark gray over here. Click the apply. I'm not going to click yes yet because I want to see what this looks like. Uh, that's not too bad. We could even customize the colors in here if we wanted to. The end, if you wanted to go a little bit darker, let's go to customize and let's slide this down. So not totally black, but just a little bit off. Okay, let's go with that one. Let's apply that. And so a slight transition from very dark to almost dark. So I'll get a prompt here about saving this to the configuration. I'm gonna click on yes, because I want this to be part of my dark mode config. And another warning here saying that my geometry matches my background color. So currently right now, my wireframe is set to black. So obviously black wireframe is not gonna show up good on a black background. So I'll pick something else and let's just go with the default uh, dark blue here. Have a quick look at what that's going to look like. Let's draw a rectangle right there. And that's good. I can see the wireframe nice and easy and we'll carry on. So that's the graphics area. The rest of the interface though is still very bright. So how can we change that? So let's look at an option here. Again, in our file menu, we're coming down to options. And again, we're going to options and we have an option here for the theme of the interface now i've only got white colorful or dark gray so dark gray is our, our darkest option here so we're going to go with that dark gray and okay and again let's dim down uh, the toolbars at the very least and we still have one more problem and that's our toolpath manager to change the display in the managers we've got a down arrow here that brings us into our options and we can switch the background color again and I'm going to go with that uh, color that wasn't quite completely black, but uh, definitely not the gray over here. And that obviously makes an issue for our text. So we need to brighten our text up a little bit. And again, under the options, we've got a font option. And I'm going to pick a color and I'm going to go with teal. Looks decent. And the lines in here are a little bit tough to see still. So let's go with an option in here and I'll go with the default uh, default yellow. Okay, so there's our master cam now in dark mode and it's much more tolerable, uh, especially if you're used to other applications that are in a dark mode. Now, so you go through all this and what if you want to go back to the way things were? So it's pretty easy in our options here for our managers, restore default attributes and we'll undo our options as far as the theme goes. Switch that back to white. And then finally, to get our background back to the way that it was, we'll switch our configuration back to our default, which had our startup colors. So there you go, an option there to get Mashcam into more of a dark mode feel.